Um, so essentially, we will deep dive into um, what is pen test or why you even need, you should do a pen test uh, inside your organization, inside your company, how it can uh, help you to a secure application. Um, and we'll talk about advanced hacking techniques uh, by Alex Pelleg. He will describe how we hacked games. He's, he's actually a gamer. So he's starting his, his a computer and enthusiasm in, a, in computer and hacking through games. So he took this game and gamification that he is playing and tried to hack that. So he'll give real example on how to hack or bypass security um, inside his game world. Um, we'll also discuss about the ways to incorporate AI, uh, all the artificial intelligence uh, based security into the software developing process. So how we can combine it into a, a secure framework um, develop a process of secure those those AI because eventually it's an attack surface. So uh, attacks can come from variety of source. Some of them can come from a hacker. Some of them can uh, come from, from some supply chain or specific components even or AI-based technology that we've uh, implemented into our product and product development. So uh, Maya will talk about how to incorporate AI, how to use it uh, in order to develop a uh, secure manners uh, with, with GRC uh, along it. So not just uh, validating the, the right policy and uh, the guidelines, but other also build some compliance around it uh, and incorporate it as part of, of uh, process development. Um, and we will summarize with interesting vulnerabilities, which Abraham just uh, mentioned, uh, several of them. He will uh, highlight those that was publicly exposed. You know, we will not talk about things that was not exposed yet, although he just told me that he has something that he found just this week. Um, so keep uh, uh, bear with us. And uh, Abraham will talk about those kind of security vulnerabilities that, that is found in companies. Uh, of course, publicly exposed um, that he found. And it will be very interesting to see this kind of penetration test from, from a hacker point of view. Um, eventually, uh, Abram uh, is pretending to be a good hacker. He will not expose the data. He, the companies are paying him in order to find to those vulnerabilities. And it's always about humans. Uh, eventually, a human hacker uh, someone that understands the system, understands the architecture, understands the, the flow, is actually the one that can find security vulnerabilities uh, in, the, in the code itself or in the application. So in the business flow, Abram and his team find those uh, security vulnerability. Um, so I can, I can see that people are, are joining. Hello, Draw. Uh, hello, hello uh, Madaramoni. Thank you for joining. Hello, Marco. So thank you for joining. We'll start in, a, in, in one minute. We will give other people uh, also the, uh, some several minutes to join us. Uh, we actually prepared a very interesting uh, meetup today. So we'll talk about the reason of why we should do a pen test. Uh, you know, everything nowadays are, is automatic. Um, however, there are some parts that need a human, a person that will take all this kind of automation and find security vulnerabilities in your product development. If you are if you are a, a, a product development a company or you are a company that use uh, others or sales party uh, software, um, those might be uh, jeopardized, might be uh, at risk. Um, and and new vulnerabilities are also emerge on a daily basis. So you might have done some penetration tests. Uh, however, it's an ongoing basis. Is, is that right, Abram? You, you, you will talk about those kind of uh, of cycles, but eventually, um, doing penetration tests is not just one time. Am I correct? Yeah. In fact, I will show uh, some case study where, like, how the number of vulnerabilities and the severity of the vulnerabilities decreased as one of our customers did, like uh, the first, the second, the third pen test. So I'll show one example uh, in the in the first presentation. Like why why should you do a pen test? Uh, I'll show that. So it will be 
illustrated by example. So with the, you know, experience from the field with an actual company doing Panthers several times, right? Yes, yes. So so guys, it's, it's very interesting. We prepared a very interesting meetup today with, with the, you know, most up-to-date tech person, cybersecurity tech person, uh, people who are hands-on. So it will be very interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, grab your uh, drink, best drink, and join us. Um, as I mentioned, we'll talk about uh, how Pentest can help to secure our application. Uh, as Abram said, it's not one time. You are The development is an ongoing basis. So an agile development, a sprint base, does, doesn't matter. It's an ongoing basis of development. So penetration tests should be incorporated as part of the developing process, it's an, and it's an ongoing basis. I, I, I think there is also some stats about how many security defects will be found in a X line of code. So if you are developing, there will be some vulnerabilities in your code, and uh, Abraham will, will discuss about it um, with his lecture, why should you do a pen test, a very interesting one. And following that, we will have a presentation by Alex, uh, by Alex Peleg. Hello, Alex, thank you for joining us. How are you? Can you hear us? Okay, maybe maybe Alex has some difficulties. Okay, I, can hear you. I can hear you loud, clear. loud and clear. Loud, wow. loud and clear, right. yes. Uh, I needed to find the position to present from. So uh, yeah, we have uh, special conditions uh, for this webinar, uh, but... Uh, you know, we'll make uh, everything uh, in the best way possible. Uh, and that's it. So it will be a very interesting uh, presentation about uh, hacking games and uh, about the history of all, all of it and uh, what are the prominent uh, ways to hack into games uh, nowadays. Okay, so so yes, how to how to hack games. And, and Alex is a, is a gamer, a former or a currently gamer? How can I describe? I think it's, it's no, I'm gamification. Still a I'm, still a gamer. Think, uh, I'm still a gamer. It's uh, it's an addiction. It's like uh, asking if someone if is uh, using or not. Yes, uh, yes, I'm a gamer. Uh, <laughs> so you cannot stop. You are just hacking now. You are uh, hacking. Uh, although although uh, two months ago I deleted the game that I I was addicted to. So I'm I think that uh, I'm still in the in the phase where I am trying to understand what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> so Alex will we'll talk about hacking games, how to hack games, uh, real examples from a, from a hacker point of view, a gamer and a hacker point of view, a very interesting uh, topic. Following that, we have a lecture uh, on AI, uh, artificial intelligence, and how it actually incorporates uh, into the security, into our software development process, um, with also combining a GLC, a compliance, uh, how we validate we, that we are integrating the AI um, in a secure manner, how we are using AI in a secure manner from corporate point of view, and of course, how it can assist us with uh, producing secure uh, development. It will be a recorded session by uh, Maya Lazar, and we will finalize with uh, the value of public pen test reports and interesting vulnerabilities, which uh, Abraham uh, found and, and was publicly exposed, of course. Um, so you will have live example. So uh, please bear with us, grab your favorite drink um, and, and, and join us. So um, I do want to start, we have, we have people on the line, so, um, so I think we can, we can start. Um, I do want to mention that, that of course, please ask questions, guys. If you have any questions to our lectures, please write them down in the Q&A or in the chat. Uh, and uh, each and every lecture in the end of the lecture will be able to answer your questions. Um, moreover, if we will not have time and we will, we will want to keep up time with the, with the schedule, however, if we want to have time in the middle, we will keep in the end and uh, all the lecture will be able to answer all your questions. So please, write them down in the in the Q&A or in the chat. And, and without further ado, I do want to invite uh, Abram. Uh, Abram, uh, he has, uh, after 15 years 
in, uh, in IT security and, and more than 22 years in IT. Uh, Abram is now the CEO of uh, 7A Security, which is a company which uh, specializes in penetration testing of web and mobile uh, infrastructure and uh, code review and training. He's also a co-author, so he loves to, to write about cybersecurity, uh, mobile, web, and desktop, uh, electron apps, seven security courses, and training. So I think eventually everything is, is relying on training, uh, training for secure development. Um, is also lecturing and a trainer in uh, in all the biggest conference. I think, Abraham, you are, you are famous. I'm sorry to say it like that, but you are very famous. He's in Black Hat, USA, uh, OAS Global, AppSec, and uh, DEFCON, and, and more and more and more. Uh, NALCON, if I'm not mistaken, um, he has a, a vast knowledge in penetration testing, um, and he leads several uh, security pen tests. He also the creator of practical web defense. So it's an hands-on e-learning that you can learn um, out there in the internet, in also in 7A uh, security um, website. Uh, he's also part of OASP offensive web uh, testing framework. Um, so you can hear all about it in, in OASP. Um, he has a major degree in diploma and has lots of security certificate. I cannot count them down because there are many. <laughs>